Hello everybody and welcome back to Kingdoms and Castles. As always, I am Dor and today we're going to go ahead and place down a bunch more houses because we need the people to go ahead and fully staff the towers and stuff that we have down now. So in between episodes, I went ahead and replaced the entire wall with the stone stuff, except for the front side here. I didn't do that because once we go ahead and get the entire island walled off, we're not going to necessarily need this wall anymore, so we're just going to end up removing it anyways. But I went ahead and placed towers down everywhere on the wall here. So we have the arrow one and the ballistic tower kind of changing back and forth here all along the outskirts of the wall. So we have, I think, like 15, 20 towers or something like that down. And right now it kind of works pretty well. The dragons come in, they kind of die relatively easily. We still need towers on the inside of our kingdom here because the radius on some of these still reaches the middle of our kingdom, but it's still kind of got some blind spots. So the dragon can kind of just hang out and burn a building or two before it flies back into the radius of one of these towers to start getting shot again. I haven't had a actual Viking raid breach our wall in a little while here. I think the year is like 215 or something we've we've kind of fast forwarded here a little bit i also went ahead and purchased a bunch of the tools from the merchant ship that comes through here as well as disabling our people from using them and i went ahead and removed all of the rocks in the area so now all of the the rocks around the stone deposit are gone around the iron deposit they're gone as well over in the forest we don't have any more boulders or anything kind of eating up space so we can kind of just place down a bunch of the forestry units when we get around to placing them down the entire kingdom is pretty much stone free except for this guy here i totally forgot about that one so we'll go ahead and remove that eventually but everything else is clear from within the walls here everything outside is still kind of there i did remove one or two on on the iron deposit here and I think I removed one or two over on the stone deposit here because I want to go ahead and build a wall around this and I couldn't do that if the boulder was there so now we have that available so we can go ahead and wall it off when we get around to doing that so what we'll end up doing right now is since we have a bunch of this open space anyways I don't really want to build any buildings out here just yet until we start getting the stuff walled off just to go ahead and keep those buildings safe so what we're gonna go ahead and do is place down some houses I kind of regret removing all of the houses that we had down because that would have probably saved us time but I I kind of wanted to have everything moved over into a neighborhood. This is still kind of working out. We do have another church down and another tavern because we are overcrowded constantly. I think we're still overcrowded on the clinics and stuff, so we might need to plop another one of those down, or we might just go ahead and bite the bullet and place down a hospital to hopefully I get more people in it instead of the... Um, the clinics but for right now let's go ahead and start cramming down as many manners as we can we have a bunch of gold and stone and not a whole lot of wood we should be able to place down four of these though so what we'll go ahead and do is just kind of have these all along the area where we can actually squeeze them in at so we have two spots right here next to our fishery stuff we can go ahead and squeeze one in right there as well by the swine thing and I don't think we can put one there no we can't place one there but we can go ahead and put two cottages right there we do lose a little bit of space because there's no road connecting these two tiles so we won't be able to place anything there regardless but we can go ahead and squeeze those two in there but let's go ahead and continue placing down manners until we're out of wood which I think we yeah we have one more one more thing we can place down I don't want to place it right here because that'll eat up one of the quarry slots for the iron so let's go ahead and space it by one and then we should be able to squeeze it right there and now we are out of wood so we need to go ahead and start playing again so that we can go ahead and start generating wood I think I think this is facing the wrong way I believe I'm gonna pause it really quick and redo that one because I don't want the door facing the wrong way all right so that should be good and let's go ahead and see do we have enough wood to place down the cottages I'm going into the wrong things here no we need 25 wood for one of those so we're gonna go ahead and place two of them right here on the little corner so that we're using the space another thing we might end up doing when we get enough of the forestry things down in the woods that are over here is we might actually remove the ones that are right here these two that are in the town center kind of just to kind of free up space and cram a bunch of houses down instead of having these things eating up the space that they're doing since we're going to pretty much have this entire side dedicated to the forestry buildings we can go ahead and just kind of figure something else out instead of having these guys eat up the space that they're eating up right now there we go we have one of our manors built already i don't know how that one got built faster than that one since i removed that one and replaced it and that one still somehow didn't get built at 
quicker than this one. I, I don't know. But we should have enough wood to go ahead and place down one of the cottages in this little corner there. And then we need to wait until we get another 12 pieces of wood and we can go ahead and place down the other one there. But let's go ahead and plop open our job stuff and see if there's any jobs that aren't full of people yet. Like, I don't know how many more that we actually need. So we need, uh, what is that? We need 17 more people to go ahead and meet the requirements for all of our employees, I think. So we're not actually that far off from having having like a fully staffed kingdom. So it's not that bad. So as we have more of these manors getting completed and we have the staff coming in, let's go ahead and place down some iron mines on the iron that's over here so that we have extra iron being generated at least. And what do we need for that? We need 25 more wood before we can place down another one. So I'm going to go ahead and generate that. As we are doing that as well, I'm going to be cutting down little chunks of trees in the area over here so we can squeeze in more of the forestry things as well. Okay, so we just had another plague outbreak. So I'm going to go ahead and just place down a hospital right now and just see if that's going to help us any going forward here. So let's go ahead and just place it here. That should kind of help out, hopefully, since the majority of our people live in this area anyways. And once that gets going, we should hopefully see this number maybe drop. And there we go. Yeah, it went back up already. So maybe we should be good once that is fully up and going here. We have a thing of Vikings coming in. So we can go ahead and have our army pretty much where they are right now. The big guy, the ogre, should die before he even gets to the front door. I don't think our people actually have to interact with him anymore because this one is giving pretty good overwatch and then these ones kind of have the same coverage as well. So yeah, it, it should die before he gets anywhere near our door. I think this might be the most Vikings in one go here. So it was just at 17, but I don't see 17 flags here. So I think it might be counting these people plus the uh, the boats. And that's how we, we're getting to 17. But for right now, it seems to be okay. I'm not too worried about them burning our wall because our people should be able to go ahead and turn it out before it becomes an issue. Oh, actually, never mind. That's a lot of wall getting lit up. Let's go ahead and have our army meet these guys at the door so they don't actually come through and steal any money. And those guys should be dealt with relatively easily. These guys are going to get destroyed because they're coming into the radius of all these towers now. So they should kind of get dealt with on their own there. I'm going to keep having my army attack these guys just to go ahead and, and kind of thin the herd here. And I think that's all these people wanted to do this time around. They just wanted to go ahead and light a bunch of my wall on fire. But once we go ahead and get the stone stuff squared away, that shouldn't be an issue anymore because the stone is actually not flammable, so we should be good. Are these guys dropping off more people? Is that what's about to happen? It is indeed. Okay, let's go ahead and have our army meet these guys because those are still kind of attacking. And did these guys drop a big ogre off? They did not. It's just another wave of of Vikings, so we should be okay. I don't know where those people just came from. Can I have these guys kill the rest of these people, please, before these guys get into our kingdom? Let's go ahead and have our army actually run up ahead of them and get back into the doorway to kind of block it off a little bit. I think our people should be able to win this relatively easily. They have the help of the tower shooting at them now, so... We should be good. Yeah, we have them dropping their flags. I'm pretty sure we might have lost one or two of our units here. Yeah, maybe. Maybe not. We do have two more people still. Those are just the boats. Okay, that's not a big deal. Let's send our army back to recuperate so we have full squads here instead of damage squads. So let's go ahead and send most of these people back. This guy has no more army with him. Or he has two more people with him, but not a whole lot. These guys are good. Yeah, these guys are good. Let's have them camp the door. I don't think this really matters. It's just a quick way for me to get them out onto the field here instead of having them hanging out back here now. So we are losing food, so we can go ahead and place down some more wheat fields here. We need to place down some more fruit trees and stuff as well because we don't have a whole lot of that coming in. But let's go ahead and place down a windmill here to go ahead and boost the, the wheat fields here. So that should work there. And then we can go ahead and cover in the rest of this little area here with some wheat fields. That'll be decent. And I'm going to let those get built really quick before I place down any more just in case that's enough to kind of get us out of the negative thing that we're in right now but anyways we have the stone and the wood to keep placing down manners here so let's go ahead and do that so we can go all the way up to the wall here with this one and do I want to do that I think we can go ahead and just squeeze this one here and then squeeze another one in right here and then on the back side, we can place down a cottage and then another little house for right now. We might change that out as we do away with this wall because we should be able to go ahead and squeeze another cottage in right there. But for right now, since the wall's there, we can't really do that. So let's just go ahead and place down a house for right now, a single tile house. That should be fine. And that's going to give us a little bit more people here. I don't know what we're going to do with this just yet. I'm still placing down forestry units over in the forest over here. So we should kind of be okay in a few minutes. If if we go ahead and open up this and grab a forestry unit, we can kind of see, I want to get the little corner bit because 
I don't know if that's visible, but the little corner bit doesn't actually have a plantable thing. So if we place it there, that's cutting out the corner bit that is the quarry. So we should kind of be able to maximize on some space here, but we don't have the road reaching to it. So we do need to place it here and we lose out on the corner bit plus the street bit. So it's not too bad. We'll go ahead and cut that tree out. We should be able to go ahead and place down a forestry there in a second when it gets cleared and we can go ahead and place down the road here. This is gonna allow us to maybe squeeze in another one in this corner. And then over here, we might go ahead and squeeze another one or two, or we might go ahead and just clear out the trees and cram a few houses and stuff in this corner just to go ahead and try and get something out of it since I don't think there's gonna be a whole lot of trees coming out of this, but we'll go ahead and see in a few minutes here once this stuff gets cleared we do have the dragons coming in we have five of them this time around we have one massive dragon getting lit up right now where are the other ones it's going to be a bunch of the little ones right yeah we have four of the little ones one big one the big one should die in a second or two here it's already half health and all of the towers should be targeting it now hopefully they get it before it spits fire kindly do it before it spits fire it thought about it and then it didn't spit any fire and it's just going to leave okay so that's good for us we didn't lose any buildings by the big one these ones are going to light up our wheat fields though they they usually get through but i think we should be able to kill them all before they leave if my towers would kindly connect with their shots here and then there's a third one dead and the fourth one should die before it gets past our neighborhood here since there's going to be a lot of towers targeting it here in a second the only one that got away was the big one and the little ones are kind of easy to deal with. And once we go ahead and place down a bunch of the towers on the inside again, like we have now, we do still have some of the towers down, but they don't have the radius that these ones do. So once we go ahead and swap all of those over to the, the towers that we have down right now, they should be able to go ahead and consistently kill the big one instead of letting it fly away over and over again. So for right now, I think we're going to hold off on placing down any more houses. I had to go ahead and place a market over here. I placed down one of the little ones because the people over here were starving. So I I hope that kind of helps a little bit. We should have more than enough food to go around. So I think the market is kind of just needed to go ahead and feed these people because they, they don't want to walk all the way to a stockpile and stuff. But for right now, let's go ahead and place down or let's go ahead and replace our towers rather inside our kingdom here. So I'm going to go ahead and place a bunch of these things down and then we're just going to go ahead and top them with a ballistic tower, I think because the ballistic towers are better at the, uh, the damage output. So we'll place one there and let's see, we have one here. Let's place another one over by our iron deposit i guess maybe i'm not quite sure where i want to place another one because we have one here one there one over here let's place one over on our forestry stuff so if we click on it we can see that the corner bits don't actually have anything there because the uh the the radius on this thing is kind of cut off on the corner there so let's go ahead and remove the corner piece on the lumber there and then once that's gone we can place a tower there these guys are restaffed so let's go ahead and have them meet up with the other army i went ahead and placed down a bunch of orchards i think i I only placed down like two or three orchards and then I filled in this area with the wheat fields. So now we have a ton of wheat being generated. We have 121 extra food being generated than what we actually need right now. So that should kind of buy us some time without having to place down more, more food items. Okay, so we have that one being built over in that corner. We can also place one right here since we already have a tower there. Let's just go ahead and remove it right now. We have five years to go ahead and get it rebuilt. So I think we should be okay. And so let's go ahead and remove this. Oh, we have to actually click on it. My bad. There we go and let's go ahead and replace it with the stone one and then once that's done getting built we'll have three new towers that we can go ahead and top with the ballistics and hopefully that helps deal with the big dragon when it comes through here okay so i think we should be okay with what we have set down i went ahead and placed down two more forest trees over in this area here so we are going to go ahead and remove these two today as well where did these guys break through oh they're they're breaking through the wall here i did not realize there was another wave of them going through this way i need to go ahead and get these guys back on our armory because that's not going to be good for us they're about to take all of our money there's a hundred gone there's another hundred gone in a second once that guy gets there let's go ahead and have these guys attack them please this guy needs to die first because he's going to get to the boat before we can even stop him and those ones are going to steal even more of the money so that's not good i didn't realize they they were here i thought uh I thought we were safe, but I guess not. This guy's going to escape. Why is our army just hanging out there? Let's go catch up to them, please. Kindly, where are you going? You're going around that way. Okay, so we probably going to lose a bunch of money here, kind of depending on where these guys try and escape through. 
Actually, did everybody else die? Is it only these guys left? No, there's two of them on that boat. I, I only saw the one. Whatever, it's fine. We have plenty of money coming in. We're not gonna get broke off of that little robbery there. That's the first time that's happened in a little while, though. So we need to go ahead and fix that. I'm not quite sure how that happened because usually they don't go for that wall. They go for the wooden wall. So that kind of caught me off guard that they decided to go through the stone there instead of doing what they normally do. So the dragon should be coming in a year or less than a year because because it's already flashing so I want to see if having these towers upgraded is gonna make the difference in killing the big one or not but let's go ahead and remove these ones because they are no longer needed they're not gonna have the range that the other ones do and they're just gonna not really be much help going forward here I think that's all of the little ones dealt with so we're going to see if... Oh, we have two more ogres coming in. Why are they still spawning? Let me get my army together, and then we're going to go ahead and try and catch these guys as they're coming in here. So let's go ahead and have these guys go ahead and meet them. Do we have any more attacking the walls? No, the walls are good. It's just these two ogres left, and they're pretty much dead already. Oh, never mind. One was dead. The other one's still pretty much full health. Let's go ahead and deal with him, please. There we go. So now we just have to worry about the dragon, I think. And that should be happening any minute now. All right, so we got the same thing like we just had a second ago. We still have five dragons, one big one, four little ones. So if the big one gets killed here, we are going to go ahead and start laying out the wall on the perimeter of the rest of the island here. And for right now, he seems to be chilling out. He's almost dead. And is it going to die before it leaves this time? It really didn't go to the area where the other ones were placed down. So it's really not going to make that much of a difference. And it's going to escape again with a smidge of health. So the more of these things we have down, we're probably going to have to honestly maybe place down another tower in between so that we have three towers kind of like back to back instead of having two of them kind of spaced out like we do. But I went ahead and cut down the forest, removed the forestry things that were down already. And then we are clearing out the areas here so we can cram more houses and stuff as we need to. To, but we are probably going to leave just these six here. We might squeeze another one in to have seven, but we're generating 166 a, a day here or a tick or whatever it is. So I think we should be okay with wood going forward here. So let's go ahead and start placing down the wall here. And hopefully the witch doesn't get angry that we are doing this. I don't know if she's going to be okay with us putting her in our kingdom wall here or not. But hopefully she doesn't do anything weird. We, we can go ahead and do that. We can't place one there because her house is there. I'm just going to go ahead and do the quick little little line of the, the kingdom here or the island here. Okay, so we have the entire island walled off now so we should be good the only thing i didn't do was place down towers just yet i'm going to go ahead and do that in between episodes so i can kind of space them out and maybe remove them or place them down again as i need to i'm also going to go ahead and run roads in between episodes just to try and maximize on space here i'm going to remove this forest here and the forest over here just so we can kind of place things down next episode without having to wait for the the roads to get built while we're doing that i'm also going to go ahead and place down maybe one or two more of the forestry things here we might have to place down a couple more cottages in between episodes just so that we have enough people to staff the stuff that we need to staff like the towers are going to have to be fully staffed before we're actually able to make a difference in the dragon attacks and the viking raids and then that's all that's all i'm pretty much going to do in between episodes here i'm just going to run the roads and a couple more forestry units the towers and that's about it but for right now, that's going to go ahead and be it for today's episode. So hope you guys enjoyed it as always, and I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.